Hey guys, what's up? Stephen here with Pearl MN Games and we're back to another Roblox tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can call a screen GUI using a proximity prompt. So first off, let's get started. All we need to do is we need to have a part, a proximity prompt in the script. And we also need a screen GUI, the frame, and whatever message you need or whatever you need to show. If this have another frame, you can just include another frame and text label. I, I'm going to explain it as you go. So let's get started. So we're just going to do the script. We need some variables. Let's call the part, which is script.parent.parent, which is we, we call the script.parent, which is the proximity prompt, and we call the part, which is the another dot parent and no that's pretty much all the variable we need for now and then we need to create a function let's say prompt activated and we need to have it on the player so let's end that there we we activate a prompt using a player so we're gonna go we need to call the screen GUI so we need to call that with game the uh, sorry the variable is maybe frame is equals to game dot star gui dot screen gui the name of your screen gui and dot frame so if you have additional frame just add it there so what i want to do is frame would be visible upon activating and after waiting for three seconds the frame would be invisible again so false so I need to call this script so I'm gonna call the part I'm gonna call the proximity prompt I'm gonna call the trigger I'm gonna connect it with our function oops too much parenthesis and there you go this should activate our screen GUI for the player and what's supposed to happen is we're gonna after prompting it we would see it like this and then after three seconds it's gonna vanish so let's try it out go near interact nothing happened okay so let's to kick check on output so we have no errors oh I think I know what's wrong um, we can't call this one what we need to call is player dot player GUI this is what we need to call so I'm gonna save that and do some test again and this should work out just fine all right so there you go so the reason that it didn't work is because we're trying to call the actual gui where when we play it it's gonna be the player and the player gui so that's how it goes just change the game dot uh started gui to player dot player gui so i hope this helps you on your game and if you liked the video press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel catch you on another video bye bye